Hi hey everyone, Bird Red here and I hope you're all staying safe and well welcome to my latest Citizen Channel feature. Uh, please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button and push the bell notifications as well so you know when these vlogs are coming out and uh, of course I do lots of stuff city past and city present so uh, please push that uh, notification button. Make sure your notification set to public as well, don't forget, although, otherwise you won't get to know, but uh, press that subscribe button. Please check out my links on screen as well for uh, Facebook and Twitter and also don't forget I've got a little film and TV channel on YouTube as well so if you want to have a little break from football check that out and of course uh, on Facebook and Twitch I will check every few days and follow and friend everyone back on there and also don't forget I have a, I have a sort of links with Blues in Business on Twitter they promote uh, city fan related small businesses, local businesses which need our help perhaps more than ever these days don't they so please don't hesitate to get in touch with me if I can promote or put some stuff out for you in, on one of my uh, magazine vlogs my city magazine vlogs and don't forget I'll always give a shout out to Lobdell local projects or charities etc etc just get in touch anyway please enjoy today's today's citizen channel feature thank you right our mid-season quiz will soon be into the new season won't we but uh yeah might have one or two more of these so uh let's see how it goes yep yeah, i've got i've called this one cover story yeah so what i've got i've got 10 covers i've got 10 programs uh uh, mainly the first home game of the season uh, on the year, going back uh, quite a long way. And uh, there's sort of little clues on the cover as to what season it is, and that's what I want. I want to know uh, the date, the, if, if you know the date, I mean, obviously you'll, you'll see the date, the date's on it, but uh, the year, but obviously the season involved. So if it was something in 1965, uh, August 65, obviously it'd be the 65, 66 season. So I want to know based on these covers, what season, what season it is. And there are clues in the pictures. I'll give you some verbal, perhaps a verbal clue here and there as well to make it a little bit easier. And to make it even more easier, we start at number one and number one will be our oldest one. And of course, number 10 will be our newest one. So they actually go in order as well. So that will give you an idea if you make a little note of these for this little quiz. So just 10 points up for grabs. Uh, simple. All I need to know is what season we're talking about or what the year of this programme is. But that will become all dead simple once once we start doing it. So uh, I'm going to put images up on the screen when I go through the first 10 questions. And I'll give you the answers and show you the actual programmes uh, that I've got here. Some in, some in good condition, some in, some in not so good condition. There's a cracking one here. You could tell it was a bad uh, wet day in Manchester when I went to this one. But uh, there you go. So uh, join me for this. A bit of fun, of course. Uh, play with your mates, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, you uh, pause it, whatever. doesn't matter. You can do it in real time. You can pause it and have a think or whatever you want to do. Right, let's get on with it. Question number one. All right, it'll be there up on screen. I've got the actual uh, program here as well. Uh, yeah, question one. City versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. So this is the oldest of the covers. I think it's uh, not that difficult, uh, even if you're young. Even if you're a young man, you should be able to suss that one out, I think. Uh, it's a League Division 1 game. The program costs one shilling, 5p, one so obviously it was before decimalisation, if you can remember that. Uh, there's certain images on that programme that will give you an idea as to what's happened in the previous season, etc. So that'll tell you what season we're looking for, obviously. So crowd that day at that City Wolverhampton game. 35,835, so not too bad, not too bad a crowd. So that's question one. So what season's that? Is it uh, 65, 66? Is it 66, 67, etc, etc, etc? You you tell me what season it is. All right, on to the next one. So there is an order to these. So obviously, you know, this one is after that. So this one is after the first one you've seen. So a bit of a cheat, this one. There you got. It's not exactly uh, the first home league game, but it's uh, something called the Texaco Cup that we used to play in those days. I think it was... I don't think we did, we did. I think we only played in it once or twice. Certainly only once. We may have, may have played twice in it. I certainly know we played once in it. But uh, yeah, it was uh, just a little little friendlies before the season started. So there you go. We've got a, a game there, aren't we? We're in, we're in group uh, group three according to the program. Obviously, if you go on to Wikipedia and various books, it's also classed as group C, which is the same difference, isn't it? So official six match program Tempe. Obviously, we had to play uh, Blackpool, Oldham and Sheffield United, didn't we? We played Blackpool away and uh, there's a 12,342 crowd there. We played Sheffield United away and there was a 9,358 crowd there. And we played Oldham at home, so that's the one I went to. 
Uh, I think I went to that. We had Blackpool one as well. Blackpool and Oldham. I don't think I went to the Sheffield United one. Uh, uh, yeah, so 10th of August we played uh, uh, Oldham at uh, Main Road, 13,880. But what season was it? So what season was that prior to the year? What season? Sexico Cup, eh? There's another little friendly cup coming up later as well. Right, question three. Here we go. Yeah, City versus Stoke City. Yeah, the clues in the picture there. It's an interesting one on that, isn't it? City's. Uh, it's actually um, City and Saab. So there's some significance in that. Obviously, the crowd that day against Stoke City not massive. Twenty seven thousand eight hundred and forty seven. Uh, in uh, what were we in? Yep. Yeah, I'm not giving you any more clues than that, but obviously Saab, Sierra Alpha Alpha Brava, as they say, isn't it? Uh, is a big clue in that one. City versus Stoke City. So what season is that the first home game of? Right, on to the next one. Yeah, we've got five likely lads here, haven't we? And uh, <laughs> this one, five five new signings, gonna gonna absolutely do wonders for City, aren't they? Well, a bit mixed, <laughs> to say the least. A uh, crowd of twenty two thousand five hundred ninety four. Not fantastic against Oldham that day. Uh, obviously, the signings: Dibble, Dean, Biggins, Glegorn, and of course, big Brian Gale. So, what season was that? previous uh two uh, not the great not the greatest game but i remember that one not the greatest uh game but uh what season was it what what was that the opening game of what season that was city versus Oldham, right on to number five yeah we're well, getting near and now we're getting getting into well i nearly said it then uh we get well, yeah we're getting near we're getting not you don't have to be as old now to to know these uh perhaps uh but still for you young ones have a guess anyway again city versus queen's park rangers this one's significant it was a monday night so the significant in that significance in that uh twenty four thousand four hundred seventy one. it probably could could have been a bigger crowd but there's certain things happening at the ground that uh, prevented that uh, of course there's a new new little clue there as well new blue a new blue mr rick holden so what season is that what season is that the uh, first home program for obviously something to do with the uh, yeah oh i'll tell you i can tell you that as well can't i be sky b has had an involvement as well so you probably you probably sussed that one out or you, you can't i'm not gonna accept a year out with these you've got to be spot on with the season there's no half points for years out Right, there you go. Question six, so we're over halfway. Uh, this is quite, I'll show you this programme after. This must be a, a bit of a wet day, this one. Uh, yeah, it's uh, City versus Blackpool. Yes, this was a, another first for City. Obviously, this is the first, uh, obviously, home game of the season, but it was another first as far as City was concerned. Uh, and, of course, uh, on the front cover, I don't even can see it clearly on the image there. We've got a new new sign in there, Danny Tiato. So can you think of what season that'll be? Manchester City versus Blackburn. Blackpool, not Blackburn. No, not Blackburn. Don't think we've got Blackburn today. Just Manchester City versus Blackpool. 32,134. That wasn't a bad crowd for that one, to be honest with you. Quite impressive. And it's something that obviously uh, uh, obviously City have been known for, certainly that season anyway, crowd-wise. And the next one. City versus Newcastle. Newcastle United, yes, the ex-Newcastle player there, ex-Newcastle manager on the front, of course, holding a trophy up. So this is quite an easy one. You know, your city history. A crowd of 34,776 were at this game. City versus uh, Newcastle United, of course. So I think the clues are in the image there. So uh, you should, even I might have got that. I, say, I'm not, I wouldn't have normally been very good at this sort of thing, but uh, I think I might have even got that one. Right, on to question number eight. There we go. Yeah, this. so this isn't a league game. This is this is a, yes, the old Thomas Cook trophy. So not quite as good as the Texaco Cup, but there you go. Uh, so obviously this is City versus Lazio, of course. Lazio, yes, in the Thomas Cook trophy. Yeah, good, not a bad crowd, 23,132 that day. A bit uh, looked a bit sparse. Give you, give you that clue, but you probably more or less know, don't you? But I want to, I want the year, the season. That's before the friendly game. That friendly game was played before which season? City versus Lazio. Thomas Cook. The Thomas Cook Trophy game. Right. Question nine. And the Saints here. We've got City versus the Saints with our wonderful leader on the front there. I think the clues are perhaps in the kits. A clue here, isn't it? Uh, 
Uh, I won't mention our new signing for this season, our wonderful signing, uh, a certain gentleman called Jack Rodwell, but uh, we'll, we'll brush over that, we won't mention that. A crowd of 46,190 at this one, uh, obviously our first home game of the season, so have a think on that. Well, that's quite. I think that's quite an easy one, we're getting more modern, we're getting things that even younger guys will probably know about now, so that's not too bad, and... Uh, they, they do get a bit easier. I think this next one's even easier. Even even I, even I, if you'd set this for me, I might have got this one as well. But uh, we'll go on to question 10. There we go, of course. Uh, no, nothing much on it. There's no uh, no match dates, who we're playing or anything on that. But I can tell you it's the, because it's on the spine of the of the cover. Uh, it's City versus Sunderland, of course. Uh, a certain Guardiola preparing to succeed, isn't he? With a crowd of 54,362. Uh, cheering him on that uh, that game for that season. But what season was it? What season was it prior to? So there you go. That's the last one. Probably the easiest. How did you do? Did you do all right? I mean, I, I won't be surprised with a few of you. I mean, I'll be honest with you. If someone set this for me, I would probably got four or five or six uh, tops, something like that. I might have guessed at a couple and got them right. But, uh, yeah, it's just a bit of fun. Don't forget. So I'm sure it'll let us know your score. Don't forget. So that's wonderful. Right, on to the, let's get let's get the answers. Let's get, I'll even tell you the scores of the games as well. Just a bit more information for you. Right, so we get a history lesson as well, don't you? Which is a bit of fun, isn't it? That's what you want. That's what you want. City versus Wolverhampton. Well, there we go. Yeah, of course. Uh, Division 1. And obviously there's the old uh, t uh, trophy there from the season before, wasn't it? So we won which season we won the trophy? It was, of course, 67-68. So this is from the 14th of August, 1968, for the 68-69 season. So if you said 68 or 68-69, give yourself a point. That's how it works. And we did win this one. We won this one 3-2. Yeah, with a, a couple of goals by Buzzer, some of it, and a goal by Lee. So there you go. Fantastic. Question two. Yeah, the Texaco Cup. We didn't fare very well in this uh, this thing, this Texaco Cup. We did lose at Black... Uh, sorry, we drew at Blackpool 1-1. That's that famous... I nearly had that programme on, actually. That famous uh, match programme of the game after at, uh, the first league game with Colin Bell with the Blackpool... Uh, stand in the background. I always thought the Blackpool Tower was on it, but I just used to dream that, I think. But uh, yeah, a 1 1 draw with Blackpool away on the 3rd of August. Uh, that was at uh, Tewart scored that one. Uh, Sheffield United got beat 4 2 away. Uh, Summerby and Law got our two goals that day. And the 10th of August, of course, uh, at Main Road. We won one, yeah, we beat Oldham 2 1. Dennis Stewart and uh, Franny Lee scoring the goals in, uh, say, 13,880. Not a massive crowd, but it was alright for a friendly. And, of course, it was before the 74-75 uh, season, so the Texaco Cup. We didn't qualify, of course. We finished we finished third in the group, so we didn't even qualify for it. There you go. City versus Stoke City. Yeah, the connection there was Saab, the first ever shirt sponsors, of course. So this was our first ever season of getting the shirt sponsors. Uh, was, uh, David Cross scored our goal in a 1-0 win. Uh, and it was the 1st of September 1982, so it's the 82-83 season. There you go, City and Saab, Sierra Alpha Alpha Bravo. Right, the likely lads, yeah, number four, question four, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, the City versus Oldham, uh, 29th of August 1988, yeah, a 4-1 Defeat. Uh, shocking, absolute disgraceful game that was. Uh, Paul Lake scored our goal, our solitary goal, but a 4-1 defeat by Oldham. Pretty embarrassing. We, did, we did, uh, didn't do very well against Oldham, did we, over the, uh, for a long time. But uh, there you go. Or Stockport County, or Macclesfield, I suppose. But there you go. Uh, 29th of August, 88. So 88-89 season. On to, on to the next one. Question five. City versus QPR. Yeah, it was the Monday night football. It was B Sky B. It was a all new ball game, wasn't it? Yeah, of course, we're talking the 17th of August 1992. Uh, this one was played at a 1 1 draw, of course. Not not the most exciting of games uh, for the cameras. David White. Uh, the cheerleaders were all right. I remember those at the game. They were quite uh, quite fit. I quite liked them. I think I recorded it as well. I certainly went to the game. I think I recorded it just to watch the cheerleaders back. But there you go. Uh, Davy White scored our goal in a 1-1 draw, so that's 1992, so that was 19, oh, 17th August 92, for the 1992-3 season. Yeah, and this one, yeah, the City versus, not Blackburn, Blackpool, um, 
8th of August 1998-99 of course it was the first for City it was the first time in the in League Division 2 wasn't it in the third tier of the Football League so that was the first and if you look at my mag it must have been a wet day it's absolutely so that's so when you go to look it's all stuck together uh, that's that's rain believe me and there's a the ticket there match ticket as well for it um where did I sit? Kipax, GG lower, row 5, seat 195, price 12 quid. Hey, that's not too bad. Uh, they are, but it's all, it's all got... Well, it's the trouble when he goes to some of the games, especially with Manchester weather, they get a bit ruined, don't they? So I'll probably have to buy another one of them at some stage if we can get one cheap enough. But of course, it was Manchester City versus Blackpool. Uh, the date 8th of August 1998. So obviously it was 98-99 season. Enough clues on there for you to probably get that one, wasn't it? And the goals, yeah, we won. Yeah, we won 3 0. Go to Brad Britain to Shak Zadza. Do you remember him? To Shak the Zadza, wherever it was. T S K H A D A D Z E. I have no idea. I'll have to look up and how many games. I'll have to do a special on him, won't I? Uh, question seven. Uh, City versus Newcastle United. Yeah, of course, we'd, we'd won the, the league division one the season before, hadn't we? So, this is obviously uh, the last season at Main Road, wasn't it? Uh, after getting promotion. So, 24th of August 2002 for the 2002 3 season. Uh, a 1 0 win against Newcastle that day with Mr. Darren Huckabee scoring the goals. So that's fantastic. Bit drier that day. Yeah, you you expect it to be dry. It's summer still, isn't it? But to say that that uh, black. I've got a lot of programs in the back there that are just ruined because of the weather. But there you go. Uh, question eight. Yeah, this the Thomas Cup trophy, of course, against Lazio. Oh, that's a great image on the back, isn't it? Great kit stills on the back. Um, yeah, seventh of August two thousand and four. So it was our what third, fourth. Four, five, yeah, it was our second season, was it? The yeah, Etihad, I think I'm right in that. A 3 1 win, of course, so over Lazio with Anelka, Macken, and Sibierski scoring the goals in it for our three goals in that one. So if you said 2004 5, 7th of August 2004 for the 2004 5 season. Number nine, well, of course, yeah, I mean, it was. I thought this was his first season as captain, but I think it was his second, wasn't it? But uh, so I was going to use that as a clue, but it wouldn't have helped you, would it? But obviously, that very familiar kit City versus Southampton, of course. Uh, Jack, Mr. Jack Red Rodwell, what a signing! Fantastic, uh, yeah, 19th of August, well, of course, 2012 13, the season after we'd uh, claimed our first Premier League title, wasn't it? Uh, and that game, this game, 3 2 win, Tevez, Jekko, and Nazare scored our three in a, in a 3 2 win. Uh, against Southampton. Well, there you go. Great image of how young does Vinny look there? Absolutely dead young. So two twelve thirteen. So if you said August twenty twelve, give yourself a point or twenty twelve thirteen. And the last one, yeah, probably if you if you can remember when Guardiola joined us. I mean, it's not too bad, that is it? Obviously, the the details are on the spine of who we're playing. It's uh, it was City versus Sunderland, of course, thirteenth of August. 2016, so his uh, first season with us. A 2 1 win, yeah. Uh, Aguero and a last few minute goal by Paddy McNair, an own goal, wasn't it? We sort of saved our blushes that first game. I think we had something like um, 16, 16 shots or something and zero on target, apart from apart from uh, the, the oh, for us, apart from an own goal, which doesn't count for us, and the other one was a penalty, I think. So, uh, but so. Uh, yeah, nothing changes, does it? More, <laughs> there you go. So if you said it's 13th of August 2016 for the 2016-17 season, give yourself a point. Well, there you are. I hope you enjoyed that. Bit of fun. How many did you get? Let me know. Let me know how many you got. And this is saying, certainly there will be another one, certainly one more quiz before the season starts. And then we'll, we will do quizzes throughout the season. But I'm, I will probably not be doing a weekly one like I was doing last season. Probably a monthly one or something like that. Because they are probably the least watch, even though you had a bit of fun. But I, th I think one a month's quite, you know good enough isn't it and let, let me know what you think anyway as i say uh i did enjoy doing that was the week that was last season of course for the for the quizzes but uh say it's it's uh, he's doing one a week uh and as i said it was po possibly the least viewed of the of the vlogs i do so but i do plan on 
doing it at least once a month anyway so if that's all right with you fantastic but i hope you enjoyed that and as i said there'll be at least another another mid-season i might do a ground one again i uh, guess the ground sort of thing uh, which i think are quite fun aren't you and uh, i might do one of those for you anyway uh, let me know let me know your scores what are you going to do rest of the day have a great one look after yourselves look after your friends look after your families more importantly let's all look after each other till we meet here again on the citizen channel or perhaps have a flit across have a look at my film and tv channel I only ever ask one thing. It's only a small thing. Please stay safe, Blues. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.